Hey everybody, this is the Mage of Ancients, and I'm back with another weekly vlog. Um, I hope you guys uh, don't mind this new format. I mean, I just got out of bed and just came downstairs. Um, anyway, I, I think that this is going to be a better way to uh, for me to just get my thoughts out there instead of just uh, sitting down and just uh, waiting for me to uh, actually sit down and record and just edit everything. Tell me if you guys like this new format of a weekly vlog. I mean, it is a it is a vlog. Uh, that I'm labeling as a weekly vlog. So yeah, that's this is what I'm going to be doing for for today and probably from now on, instead of just sitting down and recording and editing and stuff, <laughs> and at least this time when after I record that I can just upload this to YouTube. Anyway, let's get down to business. Today in in today's weekly vlog, I'm going to address three things: the new ban list and what decks are being affected by it. The new uh, end of match, or is it end of game rules regarding time? And finally, the third thing that I'm going to address today is what is, what is it? Um, how Sky Strikers are going to impact the meta. There we go. So, first off, Pendulum Magicians and True Dracos were the two decks that I have had a strong feeling that were going to be hit by the new ban list in one way or another. If you guys saw my last weekly vlog, you have uh, you may remember me saying that Electromite was going to get limited because uh, people just decided to ab abuse its effects. You know, uh, being able to draw card. Wait, no, not draw cards, but uh, actually being able to send uh, Pendulum monsters from their extra from their deck to their extra deck, as well as being able to add those same um, Pendulum monsters from the extra deck back to their hand. So yeah. Um, it was. It didn't. I, to my surprise, it didn't happen. But um, a couple of comments that were on my previous weekly vlog said that they were not going to limit Electromite, but instead, they were going to. The Konami was going to be uh, hitting Astrograph Sorcerer, and lo and behold, Astrograph Sorcerer got banned on the new ban list, and Electromite is just staying right where it is. So yeah, I admit that I was wrong. Um, one of the comments did say that I was a retard. Yeah. Don't call me that. I I may be in, in this debt. I may not know so much about the game, but I'm definitely not a retard. So, anyway. Uh, Astrograph Sorcerer is banned. Electromite is still alive. And does this hurt the consistency of Pendulum Magicians, magicians and Pendulum decks overall? Definitely not. I still think that Pendulum Magicians are still going to be a pretty decent deck to play. And yeah. I may make my own uh, Pendulum Magician deck, but I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. I, I mean, I do have a Pendulum deck. I just need to be able... I just need to um, debut it sometime soon. Yeah, which by the way, I, there are a couple of more a couple more deck profiles that I want to get out for you guys. And if you guys haven't seen my Cyphering deck profile, then be sure to um, take a look at it. It's on my channel. And now, True Dracos. True Dracos were um, probably the deck that I was actually waiting uh, for somebody, for Konami to just um, just stifle. And I said that um, either Masterpiece or Draconic Diagram or both should get hit on the ban list. So, yeah. Masterpiece got banned and now True Dracos are still... Uh, True Dracos still have their consistency because um, Draconic Diagram is still at 3. But... Uh, what is it? True Dracos are still a pretty good deck to play, too. Uh, I'm, we don't know for sure um, if True Dracos are still going to be Tier 1, just like uh, um, at the every other deck that we're uh, seeing right now. Uh, but we should see, we're going to see for sure. I mean, there haven't been that many uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! related events um, going on uh, lately. Um, after the new format has, has um, happened. But I'm pretty sure there are going to be plenty of those uh, happening very soon. So, um, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be making a true Draco deck. I mean, like I said, there are so many other deck profiles that I want to make. Um, so, yeah. I, I just can't. I just don't have the time to make them all for you guys, unfortunately. But stay tuned for the deck profiles that I have. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Before I to get to started talking about um, the new uh, end of game rules regarding time, Trick Stars. Trick Stars um, are still pretty much a really, really good deck to play. Reincarnation is still at 3 to my surprise. 
or actually, I did say in my last weekly vlog that uh, reincarnation should get limited, but it was not going to happen. I don't remember why. But either way, reincarnation is still at 3, and Trick Stars are still a pretty good deck to play because of their um, burn... Um, because of their burn strategy. Yeah, a lot of pe a lot of people who play Trick Stars don't look at the aggro uh, aspect of Trick Stars, but instead they look at the burn aspect of it. Speaking of which, the new... Um, they, uh, Konami has decided to implement some new end of game rules regarding time. So basically, if you guys don't know what they are, basically, instead of and instead of um, and instead of players uh, being able to end their turn uh, after time is called, they have to end their phase, and that just uh, puts players at a huge disadvantage. Especially, maybe the player has some kind of really good comeback uh, that take that gives them one. Uh, one single turn for them to make that comeback. And uh, you may have seen Simo's video already. Um, that um, what Simo is uh, talking about is that uh, maybe you activate Solemn Strike or maybe you have to activate My Body as a Shield or some other some other card or effect to pay a cost in order to um, stop, stop an opponent's play. But then time gets called and then you uh, just uh, happen to lose the game just because you happen to activate one of those um, counter uh, cards. Uh, any of those, one of those cards in which you have to pay cost in order to just stop an opponent's play. After that, if, if, since your opponent's life, since your life points are actually lower than your opponent's, then your opponent wins the game. So yeah, I just have a really strong feeling that uh, people are going to lean towards trick stars now, since. Um, over time, Trick Stars are just able to deal out waves of damage, even though they're not really attacking. So yeah, I don't know. I don't remember what other decks are that should be that people are going to play. Uh, but I do remember that Chain Strike, for some strange reason, got limited. Instead of t instead of uh, two copies per deck, now uh, Chain Bird players can only play one copy per deck. Th that's just weird. But I just have a good feeling that um, that Konami has decided to just limit Chain Strike just because, pe just so that people don't have to rely on Chain Burn uh, to um, kind of get around that uh, new end of game rules where the player with the lower with the lower life points um, loses the game. I just have a good feeling that Konami just just don't want just doesn't want people to resort to burn strategies. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Let me guys know uh, what other decks that you think are, are a, a good in um, evading such a rule as um, ending your ending ending a game on uh, the last phase um, by the time time was called. So anyway, finally, I'm gonna be talking about Sky Strikers. I could be bashing Sky, Sky Strikers just because I'm not planning on building them. But I think they're a pretty good deck. I, I wouldn't say it's the best deck, but they're pretty good. The only problem that I have with Sky Strikers is that um, pre you're pretty much running only one uh, monster in Sky Strikers. And that is Sky Striker Ace Ray. Is that what it's called? I think it was. So anyway, Sky Striker Ray is pretty much the only monster you're uh, running in, your, a Sky Strike, in a Sky Striker deck. Aside from all the hand traps and stuff, but I think you know there are a plenty other of plenty of other monsters that you can run in a Sky Striker deck, just so you can get to Ray. I just think that uh, there are that the I just have a good idea or strong feeling that uh, Sky Strikers can do so much more than just being a um, stun deck. I think you could um, combo off with your Sky with your uh, Sky Striker. Sky Striker Ray, and then go on to, into your Sky Striker Link monsters in your extra deck. Um, supposedly, um, people are going to be just like um, dumping so many uh, spell cards into their graveyards just so they can uh, have that uh, special ability uh, to just combo off um, of those uh, spell cards in their graveyard and to. Uh, and, and to continue with their plays um, on, on the field. 
I, I, I still have to do some more research on concerning Sky Strikers. I haven't really, um, I don't know so much about the archetype, but I just have a strong feeling that they're, um, players are going to be using Sky Strikers uh, by, by making use of the graveyard and then just uh, continuing their plays from there. I, I, I'm I actually looking forward to Sky Strikers to seeing how the um, how they impact the meta. But for now, I think you, I think that they are just a very good um, what's it called? They're a very good reactive deck. They're not as uh, combo oriented as uh, Spiral Nightmares or ABC Nightmares. I think they, I still think they're a pretty good deck to play. I just ha I just uh, wish that um, maybe this archetype can do so much more than just being stun based and being more combo combo oriented. I think I already said that. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think that I think people are going to be also using uh, reasoning as well as magical explosion. I I, I did see this Mega Capital G uh, YG a replay, in which uh, some guy decided to like mill their almost their entire deck into the graveyard, and then just use magical explosion by banishing it from the graveyard with some kind of monster on the field, and then just burning um, his or her opponent for like I don't know ten thousand damage. I, I don't really don't remember the replay, but that's pretty much how it happened. So, yeah, I just have a, a good feeling that people are going to look for other strategies besides just using Sky Strikers as a stun-based stack. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this weekly vlog, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the topics that I said today, about the new ban list, about the about Sky Strikers, as well as the new end-of-game rules regarding time. So that's it for this weekly vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't... Oh, wait. No, actually, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave down in the comments um, about the topics that I discussed in this weekly vlog today, as well as uh, topics that I should discuss in my new... Uh, in my next weekly vlog. That should be coming, I don't know, next week or the week after that. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Comment below with what other Yu-Gi-Oh! videos you guys would like to see. And of course, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and I'll see you next time.